I was reading in Luke chapter 4 where Jesus was being tempted, and I got to the portion where the devil took Jesus up to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And he said to him, To you I will give all this power and authority and their glory, for it's been turned over to me, and I will give it to whomever I will. Uh, if you will do homage to and worship me just once, it will all be yours. And that particular temptation has always seemed like I can't imagine why Jesus would have even been tempted. You know, like, well, that's not even tempting to do. Um, but I was reading it, and I got a different revelation. Jesus will reign and rule over the earth in the end of time for a thousand years. But the devil was offering him that possibility quicker. He was offering it to him that moment. So I thought it makes me think of how the devil will try to offer us something that we want and desire and that God may have promised, but he wants us to skip the process and the timing to get it immediately and get it airway in an airtime and how that is actually a huge temptation because we want what we want now. And, and if what we want is a good thing, then why wouldn't having a good thing be even better to have it sooner in our mentality? And it made me think about what would have happened if if Jesus would have, obviously he would have worshipped the devil and that would have been the horrible part. And that's kind of the thing that is overlooked there. Um, but what would have happened if Jesus had skipped the process and the timing? Many things would have happened, but one that would have happened is that it would have skipped him dying on the cross for our sins. So salvation would not be offered. That part of the process, is, along with many other things, would have made the second portion, the, the end result, uh, fruitless and pointless. So the, prop, the process is crucial to the end result or the promise. And if we skip the process, the promise will have no value.